Move on to the eighth on the program and uh, race number eight, another class three, 1400 metres uh, the trip here though. Still on the turf, encouraging John Moore and Douglas White will jump from barrier four, a course and distance winner two stars back. Winston's lad, wide gate for him, barrier 13, Jack Wong in the saddle. Mr. Wealth, course and distance winner himself, two starts back down the field though last time behind encouraging. Racing fighter, a last start winner here over the 1200 metres. Got Smart Charade, a last start winner, goes back up in class. Uh, right choice blinkers on for the first time behind Happy Force as favourite last time out. And Happy Force, class three for the first time, he is here on a hat trick. So Redlot and Daring Fit have been up at uh, Chung Fa, returning both of them on the 10th. Pace for race eight. Uh, good to slow there is uh, the category. Um, Happy Force up in grey will roll forward. Circuit Hassler as well, you would think, racing fighter. And then you've got horses like um, Daring Fit that's going to kick through. Encouraging probably to race handy, so good to slow, maybe a little bit quicker. We'll see how it unfolds. Uh, here is uh, Circuit Hazard. He's coming back in trip quite significantly. Uh, he'd been running over 2,000 metres last time. He's back to 1,400 metres. A distance he's run, uh, he's won off before, and he goes nicely. He's a well-rated horse now as well, and uh, he should be on the pace from Baron 9. Uh, right Choice is a nice horse, though. He's, both runs have been really good here in Hong Kong. Uh, first one on the all-weather, and then he's ran really nicely on the turf and his uh, work since has been first class so he's going very well and he looks uh, tough to beat and a happy force another one that's found some really good form recently uh, he's up in uh, class but he does come in with a, a light weight here and uh, he's done everything right this season happy force he certainly has. We'll have a look at that run with uh, right choice very shortly. Let's start off though with uh, Douglas White. He'll be riding encouraging for John Moore. Douglas encouraging, really good win from him two starts ago. What were your thoughts on his last run? Probably a little under par. He, he, he really showed a good turn of foot first up and he won with a bit of authority. He, he, he almost seemed to, to, to be a little bit disappointing next time. I think he ran OK, but I probably was expecting him to kick a bit more. Um, having said that, he, he seemed to have held his form. How's his work been? You rode him in a, a gallop on Wednesday morning? He hasn't done much. He's, he's just sort of ticked along and... He felt fine, he felt in good order. You've also uh, had a bit to do with him throughout his time here in Hong Kong. You rode him last season, you rode him, you've ridden him this season. Have you noticed any changes or any differences in that time with him? I think physically he's, uh, he seems to have put on a bit of condition and um, he's looking well within himself and he, uh, he's beginning better. He's, he's putting himself in the race and in a winnable position, whereas before he, he seemed to be slow away and always tend to have excuses coming from too far back. So um, mentally he seems to have adapted and changed slightly. All right, Douglas White certainly seems to give him some sort of chance there, encouraging. Double figure price, though, at uh, the moment. As we move on to more winning form here with Racing Fighter, a big key witness. Short head was the margin. He goes up in trip here. He does, and from gate two out to barrier number seven, but a nice enough win for, for prior to this, actually. He ran fifth behind Starling City. Um, down the straight thousand. So his last two runs have been good. It's a, it's a bit of an awkward gait, but I like the way he really dug in here. We know Handsome Bobo's a decent enough measuring stick and was able to claw over the top. The horse finished fourth, won his next start. Yeah, 1,400 metres looks like it'll suit him too, uh, up to um, by Master Craftsman. So, yeah, he's, he's in form at the moment. All right, another ride for Zach Purton. He's riding for Dennis uh, Yip. We've still got a couple more horses to have a look at, though. Home run. He's pretty consistent. Delight Express uh, down the field here, but uh, home run with Matthew Poon from Barrier 5, who uh, hasn't won on the horse, but uh, placed a couple of times. Yeah, he takes over from Alexi Bedell and he'll get a little claim going in there too. I think he's racing really well at the moment, home run. Jimmy Ting's done a good job with him. He doesn't win out of turn. He's ultra consistent. I think if things roll his way, he can win this. And I'm going to take a little chance with him. I think the King Opie form is strong. I know there was a bit of rain around on this day, but that probably helped him a little bit, but he's drawn nicely. If he can just stay that length closer through the first part, I think he can win this. Yeah, I've got him in on a minor line. He's, as you say, he's a very consistent horse. All right, so he's one for the, uh, the wider exotics. Um, Happy Force and uh, Right Choice, who they're putting the blinkers on, um, assuming just to help Sylvester de Sosa a little bit in the early stages. Yeah, that's the key, is just to focus him up, because he comes off and on the bridle a little bit uh, right choice, but uh, look, he's been right, his, both his runs have been very good, his track work's good, he's got barrier two, so he can maybe be a little bit handier, and I thought this was another good run. He just failed to run down uh, the winner, and I think the winner here has uh, got a good chance as well, so I've got both these two in. 
Yeah, we saw that race earlier yeah. on. Um, both of them look likely types going up in grade. He's got a six-pound turnaround so right choice on mm. that uh, last meeting, and he's our favourite, Paul. Yeah, I think that's enough, six pounds, uh, with the blinkers going on. So I've got him on top uh, to beat. Now, I'm going to put Circuit Haslin, because I think he'll add a bit of value to Exotics here. He's one off 78, he's down to 74, and he's dropped a lot of weight coming into this race, and he's getting close to his winning weight. So I think he could uh, surprise and uh, run at double-figure price. So he's in there for second, Circuit Hasler. Happy Force, been running very well, there, as we mentioned. And the home run, uh, Brett made the case for him. 13, 6, 14 and 10. I think the 13 can win that. I've got three of the four numbers Paul's got in the tips. I'll tip home run. I think this is a winnable race for him. The horses on the way up are probably the hardest to beat. Right choice has got lots of ability, but he's still green and raw. We're going to see the blinkers going on. Happy Force is more straightforward. He jumps to the front and makes the others uh, chase. And encouraging, as Douglas mentioned in that interview, two starts ago, he was super impressive and then a little bit below par last outing. But uh, 10 to beat 13, 14 and 1. Yeah, I'll tip the, um, the 13 right choice, but he's very short. 280 and money back. Um, you know, you'd be looking at racing fighters in each way selection, maybe outside of him. That was the eighth event. On to the all-weather for race number nine. Really good class two coming up next.